Hi girls, Buckaroo is sitting on Uncle John's shoulders while he plays a video game. I'm here to read you another book called My Three Uncles. This was a favorite of mine when I was a little girl. If I'm not mistaken, each of you has three uncles. Do you remember their names? Well, number one is Uncle John. The other two, I'll let you say to any adults who are with you. It's been a while since I've read this, so we'll see how it holds up. My three uncles are triplets. Well, none of us have triplet uh, uncles, but... They look so much alike, people can't tell them apart. Even I have trouble knowing who is who. So this book is told from the story, from the point of view of this girl, with the blonde hair and the juice. And these are the three uncles. Let's see what... Uh... You can't fool me, you're Jeff. Is he? I am not sure. That's some of the things that people at this party are saying. Who is who in this? I think that this basically the focus of the book. Which uncle is which? Uncle Jeff is an airline pilot. Uncle Max is an artist. And Uncle Gilbert works in a bank. Oh, those are three different jobs. One morning, in the zoo, a lady thought Uncle Jeff was Uncle Max. The lady comes up and says, Max! And Uncle Jeff says, uh-oh. And even the bear looks a little startled in that picture. Ah, it's a little bit hard to manage everything. We can do it, though. That does it, Uncle Jeff said. I'm tired of being mistaken for you, too. I'm going to grow a mustache. Good, Uncle Max said. I'll grow a mustache and a beard. Then I'll stay the way I am, Uncle Gilbert said. Great. I thought it will be easy to tell them apart. And the, we're continuing on with the story of Max and, or sorry, Jeff at the zoo. And uh, this lady says, Ruth, or sorry, the man who's with Ruth says, Ruth, this isn't Max. Oh, and <laughs> look, the other uncles are there. Yeah, this girl likes to eat. That's good for her. She likes ice cream. It's kind of a green ice cream. I bet it's matcha ice cream. That's sort of an earthy flavor that some people really like. Ugh. On my birthday, they all came to dinner. Hello, Uncle Gilbert. I greeted the first one to arrive. I'm not Gilbert, he said. I'm Jeff. But didn't you say you would grow a mustache? A mustache? I did, said Jeff, but it tickled, so I shaved it off. Okay, he's clean shaven. Then there was a knock at the door. Same old Gilbert never rings the bell, my mother said. Let him in. Gilbert? I asked. He nodded. You've changed. No, I haven't, said Gilbert. I just grew a mustache. So a mustache is the part of the facial hair here that goes just below the nose and above the lip. I think I liked this book when I was little because I had two uncles with mustaches. Uncle Billy and Uncle Ben. Suddenly there was a loud thump. It's only Max, my mother said. He's coming through the kitchen window again, always playing tricks. Ah, coming through the kitchen window. That is pretty tricky, Uncle Max. Oh, and someone, uh, Gilbert, the one with the mustache, uh, thinks, What on earth was that? Oh, it's her birthday, so she has a present. You like presents? We do have a front door, you know, she said. I know, said Max, but there are two animals blocking the way. I went to the front door to check. There were two hamsters in a box. My birthday present from Uncle Max. Wow. Oh, look what a mess Uncle Max made when he came in through the window. Oh, that was another reason I like this book. I have an Uncle Max. Uh, 
Uncle Max has a beard and a mustache. The beard is the part of the facial hair that grows on the chin and on the sides of the face. Uncle Jeff bought me a Walkman and Uncle Gilbert a piggy bank. I gave them party hats. That's what these pointy things are on their heads. Party hats. Uh, this one, uh, Jeff, is just stretching, he says in his word bubble. That's a way that uh, artists tell you who's saying what in a picture. And this is the Walkman that she has. Uh, this is a cassette tape that she could listen to just on her ears alone. That's kind of a handy feature. And uh, Mom says, dinner is ready. Oh, we'll just talk about this picture. They're all sitting around the table. That's nice. Uh, Jeff says, no soup for me, please. And Uncle Gilbert says, Thor thinks, because it has the little curlies around it. He thinks, I can't wait to take this hat off. How can I tell you apart? I asked Uncle Max. When you keep changing all the time. Easy, he said. Just watch us very closely and you'll see how different we are. Sir, I watched my uncles carefully all through dinner. Uncle Gilbert was very serious. When he spoke, he sounded like the news on TV. This Justin, blah, blah, blah. Uncle Jeff wiped his clean fork with his napkin before he started eating. He only ate the vegetables. He wouldn't even touch dessert. Too sweet, he said. Oh, he knows what he likes. That's nice. I like dessert. Uncle Max wouldn't stop clowning. He tucked a napkin into his collar and slurped his soup. Stop it, Max, my mother said. You are teaching the child bad manners. Now look at him. He goes... <laughs> and uh, the child, whose name we do not know, is uh, laughing it up, yucking it up with Uncle Max. Well, Mom is not impressed. Oh, remember it's her birthday party, so there's a cake, and she is blowing out the candles, and everybody is there, happy to see her uh, make a wish on the candles. We all helped clean up after dinner, except un Uncle Jeff. He was doing push-ups. He's always exercising, Uncle Max <coughs> said, especially when there's cleaning to do. Oh, yeah. That's a way to get out of cleaning. But it's much nicer to help. Because many hands make light work. And Uncle Jeff is just getting stronger. He's not bonding with the family. A few weeks later, we all met at the beach. I couldn't believe it. M my three uncles all had mustaches. I began to think maybe they did it on purpose to confuse me. But I knew right away which one was Max. Who else would make a snowman in the middle of July? Oh, so Uncle Max took sand at the beach and turned it into a snowman. That's funny. Hmm. Which one do you think is Uncle Jeff and which one do we think is Uncle Gilbert? I think this one is probably Uncle... Jeff, the one that sounds like the newscaster, and I think this one's Uncle Gilbert, but I could be wrong. We'll find out. <coughs> Hello, Uncle Max, I called. <laughs> See, I recognized you right away. Very good, said Uncle Max. But how about Jeff and Gilbert? That's what I'm wondering. What? What? She'll figure it out, I bet, because she knows she's known them longer than we have. Let's see. That's easy. The one with the sunglasses is... I was about to say Uncle Jeff, but then I thought, no, Uncle Jeff is always moving. So I said, it's Uncle Gilbert. Wrong, said Max. It's Jeff. Too much exercise. <laughs> they tricked us. Uncle Jeff jumped up. Gotta keep in shape, he said. And then he look, uh, ran and did a handstand. You guys can do handstands. I've seen that. Oh, and he's got to oil up. So he looks good. Uh, Uncle Gilbert hardly moved all day. Yeah, he just sat there on his blanket under his umbrella 
and red. Yeah. I like how there are so many different ways of being in the world. On Halloween night, we gave a party. I watched the guests arriving. A ghost, a witch, and a rabbit. They weren't my uncles. I know somebody who dressed up like a rabbit this year for Halloween. A bee was getting out of a taxi. I stood behind the door and waited. There was a knock, then another knock. This picture has the bee, whichever uncle that is, asking for a receipt from the taxi driver. The taxi is kind of like an Uber. It'll take you uh, from your house to someone else's house. It's a safe way to travel. Hi, Uncle Gilbert, I said, opening the door. You recognize me? said Gilbert, surprised. You haven't changed, I said. You never ring the bell. I was sure the next person who came was Uncle Jeff. He waved to my mother and walked straight to the food. He examined the cold cuts and sniffed the meatballs. That can't be Uncle Jeff, I thought. He smiled at me. I bet she thinks it's Uncle Jeff because he's wearing a pilot outfit. Cause that's his costume. Oh, let's pay attention to what the little girl's costume is. She might be like a tiger, do we think? Yeah, back here we can see that she has a tail. And she's wearing kind of an orangey color. I think a, a tiger is a good guess. Other people at this party. Oh, look. A rabbit. And a cowboy. And someone else with a very funny hat. He took a plate and piled it high with green salad. It's Uncle Jeff! He took a big mouthful. Hello, Uncle Max, I said. Max? He laughed. You mean Jeff. Come on, Uncle Max, I said. You can't fool me anymore. <laughs> Look how silly he looks with that big mouthful of greens. I bet it's yummy, but it's a little bit rude to eat that much. He says, here, salad is good for you. It is, but I think that that's much more of an Uncle Jeff thing to say than an Uncle Max thing to say. How did you know? asked Max. Uncle Jeff would never use a fork without wiping it first, I said. Really, said Max. I guess I should watch more carefully. I went to look for Uncle Jeff. So in the background, there is somebody who is a dressed as a vampire who says, I need a bite. And now Uncle Jeff, or sorry, Uncle Max says, now I can have real food. It's all real food, buddy. He can't be the clown. He's too tall. Maybe the one with the lampshade over his head. No, that's my father. I went back to Uncle Max. Uncle Max, I said, I can't find Uncle Jeff. I don't think he's here. What do you think? Could Uncle Jeff be here? There's a lot of other blonde fellas around. This guy with the sombrero. This guy with kind of like the clown look going on. <coughs> This guy with the Trojan outfit, what's cooking, he says. This person who has like a shower cap on. Let's see. Max lifted me up and threw me in the air. I knew you'd figure it out, figure it out he said. Jeff couldn't come. He had to fly to Singapore. But he left a surprise for you. It's under your pillow. I ran up to my room. I can finally tell my uncles apart, I thought. She goes up to her room. I opened the box. Oh, is that a little mustache inside? Now I even look like them. Ha ha ha. What a cute story. Thanks for reading with me. I love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.